Watch this and more only on Yippee.tv. A pharaoh could freeze his cartouche off in here. Perhaps a nice warm sweater will help your chilliness? I will not mask my royal personage with this, this sweater. The pharaoh demands more heat. Ah, the magic temperature box. Luxor? The thermostat, sire. I live to serve. Why must it always be so dark? The pharaoh cannot see himself think in this frozen darkness. It's as if it were nighttime. It is nighttime, O observant one. That is no excuse. <gasps> it's here, Luxor, it's here! Now my kingdom is complete! Start unpacking. Yes, sire. Right away, <laughs> sire. Uh... Tut? It's like a zillion degrees in here. What gives? And what is that? It is hot like the desert. <sighs> Reminds me of home. And this throne supports my royal bottom with the glory it deserves. Where did you get all this stuff? Uh, the pharaoh requested that I e-buy these items on the internet. Who's paying for all of this? <gasps> the museum bank account is overdrawn. How am I going to pay these bills? I'm ruined. Horace, how did this happen? What does our accountant say? Can you believe it? He quit just because I asked him to save a few pennies by cutting his salary in half. <clears throat> I'll have everything under control soon. How? Don't worry. Just carry on with whatever it is you do around here. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm ruined! <laughs> dark in here. Professor Bedetti has us on lamp rations. As Horace says, every penny saved is a penny more for me. Maybe this will help. I've got a great idea for a new exhibit. Female rulers through the ages. Sorry, Cleo, but there won't be any new exhibits for a while. Why? Financial trouble. We might even have to close the museum down. Tut. <laughs> Quite so comfy as gold. Tut! Do you know what your little spinning spree has caused? Temporary satisfaction of my material cravings. Besides that, the museum is broke. Betty, care to join me in a dish of cream dice? <gasps> no way! Tut, I know you're brainless, but don't you understand? They may have to close the museum, all cause of your spending. Good. No more visitors gawking at me. You have to return all this stuff now. <laughs> what am I going to do? Cancelled for lack of payment? They can't stop my subscription to Museum Directors Illustrated. Hmm. Having money problems? Bills stacked to the ceiling? Let Chet Gorman, financial consultant, turn your troubles into treasure. Ooh, I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, my pleasure, Mr. Gorman. The pleasure is mine, Professor. Your reputation is well known. Well, I don't like to brag, but... Now, don't you worry, Professor. I'll take care of your priceless collection and solve your financial problems at the same time. Marvelous! When do you start? Right after you sign my contract. Oh, I'll just have my lawyers look at it. Of course. Excuse me. Chet Gorman. Ah, oh, buenos dias. <laughs> Madrid. See, si, see. Si. When can I start? Well, I'm available now. No, you're not. I've got a contract. You work for me now, Chet. A check to the museum for $20,000? But you've only been working here for a week! How- I found a very generous donor. I'll say, keep up the good work, Chet. Ah, 
Twenty grand. That should cover the electric and heating bills. Wonderful! That Pedetti man's new assistant seems to be working out well, Cleo. Problem solved. As long as you stop spending the museum's money, we'll be fine. <laughs> the Faro has needs. You need to stay out of trouble. Another check? Where have all these donors been hiding? I can't even get anyone to return my calls. The money's out there, sir. You just need to know how to find it. <laughs> Professor, they walked off, man, like not there, vanished, like uh, gone. What are you blathering about? Three suits of armor disappeared, man, like they were like stolen or something. Who could have stolen three suits of armor? <laughs> Me? Why, that's preposterous! Uh, just, just one little thing, Professor. H how do you explain the three suits of armor we found in your closet at home? I have no idea how they got there. Well, it's just that <coughs> the funny thing is, your fingerprints are all over the crime scene. But I'm the museum director. My prints are on everything. And you say you were, uh, let's see, home all night ironing your underpants. <laughs> I like my underpants pressed, with plenty of starch. So how do you explain this? Uh, well, I... I... Professor, I hear a rumor you've had some financial setbacks. That may be so, but why would I rob my own museum? It makes no sense. Listen to the professor. No way he's guilty. The museum is doing better. Professor, tell the detective about all the checks you've been depositing into your account. Checks, eh? Oh, there's nothing Professor Bedetti wouldn't do to save the museum. Oh, what I mean is... Uh... Yeah, that's what we think, too. There's nothing he wouldn't do. Yeah, hey, <gasps> let's take a trip downtown, Professor. Why? Suspicion of grand theft. I'm innocent, I tell you! Innocent! This is Rosalie Rivera, live at the scene of the crime, where earlier today that scoundrel Professor Horace Bedetti was arrested for robbing his own museum. A new low, even for him. Fortunately, the museum has been taken over by acting director Chet Gorman, who's cleaning up the mess left by the former director. I can't believe the professor dude is a robber dude. Uh, hello, Mr. Gorman's office. Jacobs, why are you answering my phone? Uh, Mr. Gorman promoted me, man. I'm now his official assistant. And uh, Chet told me not to take any calls from you. <laughs> so, how are you, man? Making new friends? Or... Walter, listen. You've got to get me out of here. You want me to bust you out? <laughs> I've got a crowbar for my birthday. No! Find some evidence that will prove my innocence. Oh, you want me to do detective work, huh? <laughs> awesome, bro. I'm so there, man. Just hurry! I can't spend another day with these Neanderthals. <laughs> Stein, how can you just sit there eating ice cream at a time like this? Professor Bertetti's in jail and the museum's going under! Perhaps you would like a scoop? Here's a scoop. We can't just let Bertetti rot in jail while this Gorman guy takes over and runs things. Ha! If this new overseer solves the problems around here, who cares if that grouchy Bertetti man cools his heels in the clink? Uh, uh, Rocky Road or mint chocolate chip, sire? Both! And please, more sprinkles. Fine! With or without you, Ted, I'm gonna find out who's really responsible. Luxor, at least you're gonna help me. Uh, actually, I was on my way to the cafeteria. We're running dangerously low on hot fudge. <sighs> It's okay, Cleo. It's just me. Look, Mr. Gorman, thieves! <laughs> they're not thieves. They work for me. Those artifacts they're loading are going out on loan. 
You see, other museums pay us to borrow our exhibits. It's one of the ways we're getting out of debt. Oh. Now you run along home while I get back to museum business. Check it out! I found clues to the robbery. We can help the professor. All right, the bad guy has really stinky breath. <laughs> and his ears are like totally dirty, man. You can make a candle out of the wax on this phone, dude. <laughs> and the bad guy wears shoes and never changes his socks. Oh! <laughs> Mustard on your shirt? Mm. Yeah, man, a little bit of mayo, too. I cannot allow slovenly mustard wearing employees in the museum. You're fired. Uh huh? You can't fire Walter for that. Dr. Van Der Weel, this is none of your business. The museum is my business, sir, which is why I'm here. What happened to the exhibits in the medieval room? They're all gone. They were loaned to another museum. We've never given out all the relics. I'd like to check the paperwork. Are you questioning my management? That's insubordination. You're fired too. <gasps> Sorry, kid. You and the kitty can't come in here no more. Who are you? The museum's new security officer. Yo, I'm securitizing the place here. No cats or cat owners allowed. Something smells fishy. Uh, that would be me. I had the mackerel. Are you coming? me right, the great Toot, Unk, and Setamoon. Well, how much do you think you should pay for a pharaoh's mummy? I don't care what you've heard. He was a great king. I'll even throw in his sarcophagus. Deal. Meet me at the loading dock in an hour. I didn't get much for the pharaoh, but that throne should fetch a tidy price. <laughs> Sold for less than my throne? Well, now do you see what you've done by spending the museum's money? Uh, yes, but that is not the point. I, the Pharaoh, am being sold! I shall grind his bones to dust, then grind the dust into smaller dust! I've got a better idea. Help me make sure no more relics are taken. Fine. I will guard the entire museum, and if that scoundrel comes close to me, he will wish I never rose from the dead! Gorman. That's not possible. Hey, I've been ripped off. This is it, Luxor. We've got everything we need. I ran out of tape. What was that noise? It's the kid. Get her. <gasps> Luxor, run. Going 
anywhere, kid. Ow! Let me go, you big ape! Dear. The kid saw everything, boss. Not a problem. We take her and the tape. <laughs> Enjoy the slow boat to New Zealand, kid. Now let's find that missing mummy. The kid probably hid it somewhere. Ah, my sarcophagus is in my precious throne! Gone! Oh, my royal butt misses them already. <laughs> oh, vengeful one! We have another problem. What now? That Mr. Gorman trapped Cleo, and he's shipping her off to some faraway country. They didn't sell her for more than me, did they? What? Oh, of course not. Never mind. The tomb robbers shall pay for this. This way. The girl must have hidden that hunk of rotting mummy flesh somewhere in here. Did he actually call me a hunk of rotting mummy flesh? I'm afraid so, sire. Sacrilege! Wh what? Uh -huh. <gasps> no one defiles the pharaoh's tomb and lives! <laughs> you cannot escape the wrath of the pharaoh! Nice work, sire. Thank you, Luxor. To the ship! Now! <laughs> Now we leave that monster, or whatever it was, far behind. Think again, Tomb Raiders! The monster! Oh, Mr. Gorman! The police are going to love watching your performance. I guess you could say you stole the show. <laughs> oh, the Pharaoh has triumphed again. Thank goodness. This is Rosalie Rivera, live from the harbor, where a local youth has thwarted an international crime ring. Chet Gorman has been arrested for stealing rare museum artifacts and selling them on the black market. Listen, listen to me. I am telling you, a, a mummy with a magic lightsaber attacked me! Looks like Gorman is already working on his insanity plea. Police now believe that Mr. Gorman framed Professor Horace Bedetti by placing museum property in the professor's home. <laughs> yeah, likely story. Well, I knew that I was being framed, but thanks to my strong will, I never gave up hope that truth and justice would prevail. Ahem. Oh, and Cleo Carter deserves a little praise, too. But just a little. Well, I... I... I'm also happy to announce, due to the publicity of my misfortune, donations are pouring in. We'll soon have enough money to save me. I, I mean... The museum from ruin. Ah, <sighs> the professor is back. Yeah, he might be a pain, but he's our pain. And he's already rehired Walter and Dr. V. Um, uh, Dr. V, that's very good. Tut, what are you reading? 
Oh, a store catalog with many luxurious items fit for a pharaoh. Oh, look at this. An electric creamed ice scooper. Oh, glow-in-the-dark toenail clippers. Oh, I want it all. Excuse me, your forgetfulness, but how are you going to pay for this? I will just charge it to... Never mind. <laughs> 